Hi guys, Lizzie again. We're going to make some cheese scones today. Um, I've already started making it, so I'm just going to run you through the ingredients and what I've done so far. So, for the cheese scones, you're going to need 225 grams of self raising flour, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, 55 grams of chilled butter, 120 grams of mature cheddar cheese, and 90 to 100 millilitres of milk. Okay? So, what I've done so far is I have combined, well first of all you sieve the, the flour to make sure it's all sieved out nicely and then you pop in the baking powder and the salt um, and then you'll sieve it again to make sure that's all mixed in properly after that you'll put the butter in and use your hands to just combine it you're looking for sort of like a bread crummy kind of texture now, whilst I've done that, I've also turned on the oven to 200 degrees uh, Celsius, ready for when the scones are ready. So let's work on the next bit together. Um, so it's asking me now to put 100 grams of the cheese into the bowl. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a guess, sprinkle it in, make sure it's grated cheese. Okay, so the cheese is there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice well in the middle of the bowl which is a, bit, a little bit like a hole I'll just do it and then I'll try and show you okay you see that there it's a little bit of a hole and if things fall in it make it again okay and now we're going to pour in a little bit of milk not all of it but just enough to make a soft but firm dough okay So a little bit left. I'm going to mix it up now with the cheese and the milk in there as well. With my hands. Make sure you wash your hands before because obviously it's very um, hands on. So you're going to want to make sure they're nice and clean. Use some soap and hot water. Okay. So we're looking for a firm but soft kind of dough. Okay, so you can start to see it coming together there and keep mixing until I'm happy with the texture and now if you, ever, if you think you need not more milk or anything like that go ahead and add it in don't, don't be scared of doing that which I'm just going to do a little bit of now okay. right now when you're happy with that we're going to lightly flour a surface and roll out the dough. So I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and mixed together because we don't want some bits just tasting the cheese and some bits just tasting, well, the dough. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that, it's quite a good solid dough. Pop that to the side for a minute. Let's grab some flour. Still got some in my thing from earlier, so I'll recycle it. Okay, I'm gonna pop this on the surface. Make sure you clean your surface beforehand, which I've done. We don't want any germs and that getting onto your scones during this process, okay? So I'm gonna start off with a little bit see how it goes okay so you're looking for this kind of texture it's quite substantial quite good there and pop it on the surface flatten it out not fully because you don't want flat scones they're no good okay and then once you're happy everything's mixed in and whatnot start cutting out the shapes of your scones now lots of people will have a cutter at home to do this properly but I haven't so I'm just going to use blunt knife just to make some shapes okay I'm excited to try these so I've had to cut them into sort of rectangles which I'm not too keen on eating rectangled scones 
So then I'm just going to mould them myself into little balls. Now remember, you've got self-raising flour, so don't be too ambitious on making them too large at this point. Okay, now once that's done, you can either pop them on baking paper to put in the oven, or if you're like me and haven't got any, just butter a baking tray. Now, all these ingredients does equate to quite a lot of scones. So I've in fact got two baking trays to make sure I've got enough room. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mould all my scones, I'm going to pop them in the oven and then we're going to tune back in and see how they've got on. Thanks. Hi again, so the oven went off, the scones are ready. Um, and it appears that I'm perhaps not the best person to be making them. Um, I think this recipe is great, however, I don't eat dairy or meat and that using them substitutes might be the reason my scones perhaps haven't turned out that fabulous. However, I'm going to try them, I'm going to eat it and I'm going to enjoy it. So have a go at home, use dairy if you eat dairy because I strongly advise it and yeah hopefully you'll turn out better than ours if they do take a picture pop them on facebook or whatnot and it'll be good to see them all right take care bye all right gonna eat it not bad bye